Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Thais Gaines, and I'm here today with Dr. David Henry. Dr. Henry, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So there are several studies looking at biosimilars at ESMO. Which of those studies are the most anticipated from your perspective? Well, I'd begin by saying, what's this thing biosimilar? You know, I, when I first got involved in understanding it, your brain hears biosimilar and you think, well, it's not quite the same as a generic. It's unfortunate it's that name because now that they have been so well vetted by the European Agency uh, for promoting or uh, proving drugs, same thing with the FDA in America, they're so well tested for safety and efficacy that they're coming to the clinic, they're a big advance, and I think we will be very happy to have them and use them. What's anticipated here at ESMO? Well, um, a number of biosimilars that are already in Europe are coming to our shores in America, and for example, trastuzumab, which is used in breast cancer, HER2 positive, or white cell promoting growth factor, PEG filgrastim, or the ESA uh, erythropoietic stimulating agents, Ipoetin, uh, are being shown at this meeting and approved soon in the U.S. So speaking of that, Dr. Rugo and her colleagues are presenting a comparison of trastuzumab biosimilars in breast cancer. Can you discuss the, the design and findings um, from that study? Yes, this is a wonderful study. Trastuzumab is a very important molecule, been out a while, uh, treating HER2 positive breast cancer, making a big difference in so-called EBC early breast cancer, MBC metastatic breast cancer. And what her review has shown of molecules now available, several biosimilars, six of them, trastuzumabs, is that they are all effective versus the originator product in either the early breast cancer setting where the woman is primarily able to be operated or it's metastatic and we need to get some kind of response to improve progression-free and overall survival. So the, the take-home message from her study is and will be that these other biosimilars of trastuzumab are safe and effective. So how might the results from this study improve access to treatment for oncology patients? So even in my own university setting, I'm seeing that the drugs are approved by the FDA. This one trastuzumab actually was approved last summer, 2017 by the FDA, and is now coming to our pharmacy that we're putting them into practice right away. They have the promise of being not only safe and effective, but cheaper, some as much as 30% cheaper. So this will improve access uh, to care of these important drugs that work and are cheaper. That's great. So there are a series of presentations at ESMO this year on biosimilars. What are you looking forward to hearing about? So there's a couple interesting presentations on this biosimilar area and these molecules. So one is pegfilgrastum. This is the long-acting white cell growth factor, GCSF. We have a patient who gets chemotherapy. We're worried he or she will have a very low white count, develop FN, fever neutropenia. And so we've done this on brand in the States and in Europe. And now there's several pegfilgrastums that are doing that biosimilar. So one presentation here was the biosimilar versus brand innovator product, no difference in febrile neutropenia outcome. Another presentation which is coming up now in my practice in the States is what if you're already on the brand and your pharmacy changes to biosimilar, can you switch out and be just as safe? And this one presentation of the brand originator switching to biosimilar pegfilgrastum, FN, fever neutropenia rate was the same. And finally, one of my original interests in supportive care of the ESAs, erythropoietic stimulating agents in treating anemia of cancer chemotherapy anemia. There are several now biosimilar ESAs, and one presentation here shows that, as we've seen before with originator brand product, the anemia is less, the blood transfusion is less, and the quality of life is improved in those patients who respond, and the biosimilar presentation in this ESA shows the same thing happens there as the brand originator product. That's a lot to look forward to. It is a lot, a lot to see and a lot to look forward to. Well, thank you very much for all this information and thank you for watching this practice update.